at the Speed Forum, of course, Russia-China relations very much in focus. At a time when deteriorations, when relations are deteriorating with the West, it seems that Russia and China are, are getting closer. They are, and they've been getting closer really since 2001 when they signed a treaty of friendship that Vladimir Putin subsequently said was one of the greatest achievements uh, of his time in office. They got closer again after 2015 when Russia was sanctioned for its annexation of Crimea. And now, of course, China has really doubled down uh, on the support for Russia that it expressed in early February before the Beijing Olympics when Xi Jinping stood with Vladimir Putin uh, and said that they had something stronger than an alliance, uh, a, a relationship without limits. So these two countries, despite their historical distrust, are drawing closer together. Uh, how consequential that's going to be remains mm -hmm. to be seen. At the same time, Robert, uh, China has refrained from using the word invasion when it comes to Russia's war in Ukraine. Does that somehow suggest to you, um, by not saying that word, they are somehow trying to appease both sides, the West and Russia, because they're also very reliant on Western markets? So I think their refusal to use the word invasion is designed not to put themselves in a box. Invasion in Chinese diplomatic parlance, indeed in almost any language, is a bad thing. And if they say it's inv an invasion to the Chinese people, then the Chinese people will question whether China, in fact, has a moral foreign policy. So they don't want to admit that Russia has done anything bad. At the same time, uh, they're being very careful not to violate any sanctions because the Western economies, uh, even though Xi Jinping remains extremely suspicious of them, are more important to China than Russia. There's a disproportionality between the amount of interest that Russia and China express in, e in each other and the actual day-to-day -day economic, institutional, political interest uh, that the two take. Let's talk more about this no limits partnership between Russia and China because we've seen a lot of Western businesses withdraw from Russia uh, when it comes to the political turmoil. To what extent do you think China can help f uh, fill that vacancy when it comes to investments? China can do a little bit uh, without violating the sanctions regime and they're, and they're doing what they can do. They are importing uh, more hydrocarbons from Russia, uh, but China cannot fill the gap. Their trade, Russia's exports to uh, China simply aren't big enough to make up for the loss of the European uh, and the American market. Uh, China has also been very hesitant. You know, while they haven't been violating the sanctions, they haven't been putting any pressure that we know of on Putin either. They seem to be hoping that they can wait this out and minimize damage. Uh, but China has no more idea of how long this lasts and where it's ending up than anyone else.